another video. I had done a lovely one, but I somehow deleted it. Um, so back to square one. Um, I want to share a few things with you that I bought from the vegan pop-up store at the market. They do this about the third or fourth Saturday of every month in the Quakers Hall. And they have all sorts of different stalls selling different vegan products. Really nice. I got this um, Carrizo, which you chop up and put on pizza or with salad or anything you want. Really nice, tasty, spicy. Made from seitan and gran, which I think is chickpea mixture. Gorgeous. Um, I got this very naughty squirty cream, which actually is much nicer than um, I remember real dairy cream being. And that's been actually lovely. And I've eaten it like with broken up bourbons and naughty things like that. But I've now had my fill of horrible sweet biscuits, so um, I won't be doing that for a while. They had some lovely eggless egg mayonnaise, which made with tofu, which was really gorgeous. They had some lovely sweets, a nice fudge, a nice sort of sweet that was the closest thing to Rollo's I'd ever had. And I got a nice t-shirt and um, a cookbook too, so really worth going there. Now, I'm doing an experiment tonight for dinner. Um, I had some veggies and... Um, tofu but it was silken. I thought there's no point trying to fry it up because I know it'll splodge everywhere. So I got this curry sauce, korma curry sauce, free from um, you know milk and gluten and everything, and blended it up with the tofu and then poured it over um, onions, courgettes, peppers, mushrooms, um, red and orange peppers, and then I think there was something else. Um, it doesn't particularly probably look very much in here. Um, but it's going to be quite interesting and I'm going to have it with gluten-free pasta, so that's quite nice. And uh, for people living in Norwich watching this, um, I went to eat in Namaste the other day and it will try to anyway and it's closed. This is one on Opie Street and next door to it is this place called Thai Kitty, which is um, a Thai restaurant. And I had the most lovely meal there and it was all quite affordable. The mains were about 6 50 each and the starters were three each and we had a starter and a main each, my friend and I. Uh, we had a tofu red curry and a vegetable green curry and the starters were a corn cake with a sweet dipping sauce and um, spring rolls. So really, really nice. It's worth trying there. Um, it, it doesn't say vegan on the menu, but it's got a V, you know, for vegetarian, and she does assure you that it is vegan. So that's been really nice. Um, what else have I got to say? Well, I'll turn it off and have a think. Bye! I thought I'd do one in the sunroom, and maybe a little bit more light, and show you, uh, like, where Pip spends some of his time on our lovely couch there. And that's our garden behind us. And, um... I'm getting excited for our next trip now. We were looking at the map of Finland today, which is where we're hopefully headed. And it's got so much water on the east coast. It's like half water, half land, all broken up with not many roads. So it's going to be quite exciting. Anyway, um, that meal yesterday, it tasted fine, but pasta with a curry sauce is a little bit funky. Uh, we just thought it should have rice, really. So, but the actual um, sauce was a great idea, so I should remember that, blending tofu with a nice sauce from a jar, you know, for a quick meal. And of course I sautéed the vegetables beforehand, I should have said. I just wanted to share with you um, one discovery of the week. This Huel, you've probably seen it advertised everywhere, and I did talk about it, I think, oh, well, I did, deleted that one, so. It's got oats, pea protein, um, flaxseed, um, another rice, coconut, sunflower, you know, all sorts of good protein sources in it. It is a protein powder, which, but it's a healthy vegan one, which you have when you're on the go or, you know, doing a meal replacement and you want to have something that's good and not sugary. Um, this is the unsweetened version. I got a free sample for, well, not free, an individual sample for 4 50 It's quite pricey, but I mean, that's already done quite a few drinks. Um, I think it's probably worth it for us anyway if, um, you know, it delivers the business and gives us a good meal when we're on the go or whatever. It could be quite useful. Um, best done with nut milk blended up with a banana and something like blueberries or some strong fruit um, because it's got a little bit of a taste. Um, it's not tasteless. But I think it's absolutely fine if you flavour it with something. I wouldn't buy the flavoured, which is vanilla, because I think I'd get sick of that. I think you can only buy it in 50 sachet boxes or maybe 25, but I was quite pleased with that, so that was what I wanted to share. And Pip's on the move. Poor old Pip's getting so bored being at home all the time. He's just having, having a walk a day. He wants to be out and about on the campsites and checking it out and being the dog on the block. So hopefully we will soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.
Well, I went to Namaste and I had the most gorgeous uh, smoked aubergine um, curry with a beautiful cumin rice, which was actually the nicest curry I'd ever had. I told the owner and it really was. I can't wait to go back there. And then afterwards they gave us these lovely seeds, which were good for your digestion, which had things like cardamom in it. So